even if you're not here. <laughs> I'm I'm behind you. <laughs> I think I can't see you. Um, then oh, I must be invisible. <laughs> Everybody's I'm saying that you're very shy. <laughs> no, kikiniki. I'm not shy. I oh, like. No. I love <laughs> your kikiriki. Did you know that in Spanish, kikiriki is what a rooster says too? Oh, oh. Well, I mean, I think all over the world, the like morning sound of a rooster is like pretty similar. Mm. Kikiriki is like it's supposed to be the Japanese way of saying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, hello. Sorry, I did that because that's what um like I always make my guests do in my talk show in the beginning. I make them hide under the table. <gasps> oh! Oh, yeah. I should I should have hid behind my table then. <laughs> no, the host doesn't do that. You know why I do that? Why? Because I like I I explain what the talk show is about in the beginning <gasps> before bringing in the guest. Finally, oh. yeah, I just like explain it because usually I think there's always new people watching, so I explain you, you it. You do this every <laughs> single time. Yeah, you know, gotta have a pattern and, you know, be like a professional talk show host. Yeah. You're so professional, <laughs> what? I need to take notes. <laughs> I am brought food, but, you know, do you, I, I don't know if you want some turkey leg. <laughs> I would love some turkey leg. Just a little mm. bite. Can, can, I, can I have some now? Yeah. Take, uh... take some. Oh, oh you're kind of <gasps> naked there, I oh, I'm, I'm not naked. Wait, 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 wait. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a bodysuit. It's summertime. I love that outfit, though. Oh, thank I love your so outfit. Cool. Thank you. Thank just you. casual, just casual. Well, know. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You need to mm. introduce yourself to everybody. Even though oh, everybody right. already knows who you are. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I mean, on Twitch, I, I feel like... You said the different things, but I feel like... I'm. I, people don't know me on Twitch because I'm not on Twitch. Everyone but, knows you and mm. everyone loves you. <laughs> You're just exaggerating. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. People are obsessed with you. Now introduce yourself now. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I am Takanashi Kiara, a phoenix. Uh, even though I have cat ears on right now, I thought maybe I could seduce some people with my cat ears today. <sighs> um, well, I'm a phoenix. People call me a chicken, but I'm a phoenix. Um, I'm from Hololive English. First generation myth. Yeah. Uh, you know, same as Cal, IOP Mori. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I speak German because I live in Austria. I've been raised in Austria. Uh, but I also speak Japanese and English. English is not my first language, so please excuse me if I say something weird or pronounce something weird. And uh, I don't know. I do some music, but mainly I stream like games and stuff. I am. Um, um, I, I often do very long series, but also I have like in between games, you know, where anybody can come by. And I want to say, uh, croissant? Croissant? <laughs> <laughs> I love my cat. Oh, I wish I could have cats. I wish I could have pets. I've always wanted a cat. Maybe you can in the future. Maybe. I would love a, hmm. a cat. The ones that look like the gremlin with the big floppy ears. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean the naked one? Not not the naked one. There's another one that they're they. <laughs> what, the cat? <laughs> yeah. What, when you say floppy ears, there's just like Scottish folds and so on. Like those are not gremlins. Though. No, no, they're called or uh, Oriental short hair. Ah, yeah, yeah, I've seen those. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they look funky, don't they? <laughs> But they they deserve weird. love too. Yeah, they look fine. I mean, some of them look a little bit more weird than <laughs> others. You're so honest. I appreciate <laughs> it. You gotta keep it real. Oh god. You oh. always keep it real. Oh shit. How? What? This is all like elephant ears. <laughs> yeah, they're like really floppy and cute, and they honk. They don't. They don't they meow. They honk. They go. <laughs> really? Yeah. What's wrong? <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Weird cat. Well, but uh, I'm sure it would be very appreciative if you gave it some love. Mm. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna love a weird cat. No. Oh. But I like the naked cats too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I think. <laughs> what if you get?
get both the oriental short hair and one of those naked cats. I will be so That'll happy. Be... Ooh, you're you're making those unpopular cats very very happy. I and mean, if I somebody don't know. comes by and visits you and sees those two cats, they're gonna be like, Ugh. That, I, I've something's weird. What 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 are those? What's cats? wrong with this woman? <laughs> What are those? Sheesh. Oh, yeah. Well. Like, leave my rats alone. <laughs> uh, don't call them rats. Oh, no. beautiful cats. I don't know. Oh. I just like weird things. I, I love things that are not uh, the ordinary. Mm, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I know. Like, Vitamin is also not so ordinary. That's true. That's true. That's very oh. true. Mm. When I tell people what I do, and I'm like, yeah, I, I do some streaming. What kind of streaming? <laughs> and I'm like, well... Uh... Anime streaming. Anime streaming. I'm a, um, I'm an anime girl on the internet. Oh, ale, aleman. 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 All men. All men. Uh, all men. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Ich liebe dich. <laughs> Look mich nicht an. Kleine Maus, das glaube ich dir nicht. <laughs> what, what, what did you say? <laughs> I love you too, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you said something bad, but okay. <laughs> no, why would I? No sé, no sé, porque alguna vez la gente me dice cosas extrañas. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I sound so cool. <laughs> Man. I, I, I was hoping to learn Spanish eventually. That was like my plan at some point, but and I never had like the the proper like drive. Someone needs to push me to do it. Now Ooh. I'm learning Korean. Oh. Korean is going better because I, I have like more motivation to do it. But Spanish is so cool. You can do Duolingo. No, fuck Duolingo. <laughs> I hate Duolingo. Yeah, Duolingo sucks. You can't learn the language of Duolingo. Know, you know Duolingo that. sucks balls. <laughs> Only maybe as a, like a support mechanism or so. Mm. But... I'll, I'll help you learn Spanish slowly. <laughs> mm, but it won't be that. good Spanish. <laughs> you say that, but you know, everybody always makes empty promises and I'm sick of them. Oh. I'm sick of them. Oh my god, <laughs> do you get empty promises too? Me too, all the time. Yeah, everybody. It's just that life is society is filled with empty it's true. promises. It's, it's true. Stop, People stop, stop, promise stop things to you all the time. They say mm. they're gonna do X, Y, Z, and it never happens. Yeah, you know, so many uh, whole life members promise me, tell me that they uh, are gonna come to visit me in Austria, and they never fucking do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Except Callie. You know, Callie is the only one who has visited me here because she is the real homie she is a real one that's true mm -hmm. that's very true vibes <laughs> I, I like i like the vibes you know what if i learn i'll 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 show you what i learned okay and it won't okay. be an empty promise i swear okay mm, it better not be i otherwise, swear on otherwise... my mouse ears okay you don't seem to care much for them because you take them off so much <laughs> I like how honest you are. It's so wonderful. Mm. It's very refreshing. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Mousy, on that note, mm. you need to bring up the questions now. I do. Otherwise, we don't have time for the questions. Oh my god, <laughs> wait, we've been talking. Oh my god. <gasps> a, a good talk show host should keep track of the time. You know Mousy. what? You need to teach me because I've watched your talk <laughs> show and it's so good. It's like very Thank professional, you. but I'm very it's unprofessional. Organized. I'm not organized. <laughs> I'm scatterbrained, and I I know that I'm scatterbrained, and I know that I'm very unorganized. It's part of my it's charm. It's okay. You know? yeah, it's okay. You know, I also see this kind of as like a Twitch style to take things, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. We're like really laid mm. back over here, you know. I really need somebody like you in my life to get my shit together. Mm. <laughs> First question. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> what country has the best uh, bread, and why is it Germany? What? This is insulting. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I, I don't know why it's specifically Germany. I think we in Europe have great bread. Uh, and Austria very much too. Did you know that uh, croissants croissant? come from Austria? Is that where croissants are from? Apparently, yeah. I, I thought, you know, people think probably it's from France, but no. Turns out they're from Austria. I thought they were from France. 
Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> Wow. Well, so that that tells you we know a thing or two about bread. We have good bread. Oh my mm. god, that means your bread is awesome. <laughs> okay. Next, next one, next one, next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kiara, how does it feel to be living in the country of Europe? Lasting <laughs> No, but seriously though, what is it like living in Austria and does it differ from other countries you have visited slash other members of Hollow Life reside in? <laughs> Mm, um, yeah, uh, Europe is a continent and Austria is a country in the mm -hmm. middle of it with the capital of Vienna. Just to, to bring it out there for people who don't know. Seven, seven continents. Is it really? Europe is its own continent? Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. I'm so sorry, Europe. Uh, will you forgive me? You little shit. Oh my god! <laughs> Long one! Whoa, it's very long. Hi, Mousy. Hi, Kiwawa. You've both been doing VTubing for a while now. I wanted to ask you both if you could share a positive experience or moment from your time as VTubers so far. Something that you will still remember and makes you happy when you look back on it. Happy you are finally doing this. Thank you for everything, girl. Sending you both a lot of love. Oh. Oh. Positive experience. All right. I'll start. Hmm. For me... Oh man, of course there's many, but uh, if I had to think of one now, I think it would be mm, like having finally after a long time uh, in the internet doing stuff, you know, uh, finally having an audience for it, for what I do and being appreciated for it. Uh, like, you know, for singing and entertaining and all that kind of stuff for existing in the first place. Yeah, because I, I felt like I was always working towards something in my life. Uh, and, and, and I mean, I'm very tenacious, but I've, I've been struggling. I've been thinking, oh, this is never going to get go somewhere because it's just I just don't see anything coming back from how much I put into it. The success that I would hope to get is never coming. I don't see it. So... I was struggling a lot with that, but now I finally see the reward for struggling for so long. Having a, an audience that listens to me gladly and will come to see me in conventions and events to support me, will cheer for me, will listen to my music and listen to my talking and watch my streams endlessly. And that's just finally... Yeah, I feel appreciated. And like I have a purpose, and I don't feel like a failure anymore. <gasps> oh gladly. my god, no, you're not. Bro, you were making me tear up. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm not I, kidding. I felt like a failure so many times in life, and now finally I've. I, I totally guess I, understand. I made it to a decent point. Mm. I completely I understand. You're not a failure mm. though, but I, I completely understand because mm. I I know what it's like to feel like a failure and I know what it's mm. like to uh, try really hard to work towards something and you just feel like you're mm. not getting anywhere and you feel mm. like nothing's ever gonna happen or nothing's gonna come of something and okay, I, I, ask, I get it. Like, how long did it take you to like kind of, br I guess, what would you say break out like break make the break to Ooh. become like you know somewhat popular <laughs> it's a weird question to ask but like oh, how long no. did it take you as iron mouse oh i started streaming in 2017 and mm -hmm. i didn't start growing until after the pandemic started so in 2020 oh yeah Ooh. it took time it took quite a while but like when i started like i didn't really like i didn't really think about getting like famous or anything like I'm gonna mm. be honest, I just started streaming because I was really lonely uh, mm. and I didn't really have anybody to talk to because uh, so in real life, I have a uh, medical condition uh, mm. that uh, is an immune system disease so I can't really be around people a lot I can't really be mm. around too many people and uh, because of the fact that I was struggling uh, and uh, I, I'm living with my parents 
uh, it was hard for me to get proper medical attention, and um, yeah. I was very, very sick before I became a VTuber. Like, it, it got very bad, where it was just like, I just thought, um, I'm never going to work again, I'm never going to do anything, mm. I'm never going to do anything in my life. And mm. I just thought, you know, hopefully I could make friends online and maybe talk to somebody and uh, maybe just, you know, enjoy what I can here in my house. And then mm. uh, I started really liking the streaming and I really mm. started liking VTubing a lot. And I, I had like five to ten people watching me. I think the maximum amount that I ever got was 2020 in January for my birthday. Mm was like mm -hmm. 50 people watching me so it wasn't until oh. like the summer the summer of like the pandemic to like september of the pandemic in 2020 that i started Ooh. growing like a lot and that's when what i was made, like uh, what happened there uh was it just the pandemic or did you then start vtubing like because before you probably weren't like moving like this right no no uh, before it was like really small and uh i i, I would just come on i would also, I was like really sick, so I could only stream for like one to two hours. I couldn't stream for long hours because I was like not well. And mm. then I met uh, my friend Melody, and I met a couple of other streamers. I met uh, Silvervale, and I met uh, uh, Zen, and I met the people mm -hmm. that became Vishojo. And we all started mm. streaming together, and we all started growing. I guess it was like half of like uh, the pandemic and everybody being home or... I don't really know. I just know that I just... All of a sudden, people just started watching me. And I think also because, like, I made friends in the community. And, like, we all just started mm. supporting each other a lot. Mm -hmm. So we all grew. And then I think what made the growth even more, like, impactful was when V Shoujo started. And, like, oh. everything just started picking up, like, a lot. And Yeah, I think I could feel that. Mm. Yeah, and then, like... I started making money, which I never made money before, and then I was mm. like, oh, I could pay for this and that, and I could do this, and, and now I'm here, and now I'm a little bit healthier, still going through some stuff, but it's it's much better now, and uh, yeah. it's crazy nice. for me to think that, like, a few years ago, I was just not, I was just a girl just talking to a void, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know how difficult that can be when you're just trying for a long time and nobody's really watching. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. Understand. But finally, finally, all the like struggling and, and working hard has been rewarded. Yeah, because yeah, like it was hard for me because so before I did the, you know, I told you like I got sick and stuff, but like before that, like I was trying to become an opera singer and. That was like mm -hmm. my dream. Like I wanted to sing opera. I wanted to do mm. to be on stage. That was my dream. And then I got ill, and I had to just stop everything. And I had to stop going to school. And it was just like, I was like, oh my god, my life is over. <laughs> mm. And then the VTubing happened. I was like, well, um, I'll just enjoy whatever. And now it's like, I'm living my life again. Nice. Mm. I hope it helps you. Oh, I hope that you, you get like the fun. And, and satisfaction I'm having out of a it great that you time. deserve. And I'm happy mm. that I can meet incredible people like you. <laughs> and your story is inspiring too, you know. Well, I can't tell you all the details about it, unfortunately, because a lot happened before my life, but uh, you know. <laughs> that, that's okay, that's okay, yeah. you know. <laughs> mm. But yeah, whole life definitely rescued me from a situation mm. where I felt like it was over, like, ah. Maybe I should give up and nothing's gonna happen. But yeah, here here I am. And things have improved greatly and turned out for the better for me. Yata! Thank you, Hollow Life. Thank I'm really you. grateful for Hollow Life for doing that for you. Mm, me too, me too. You deserve Next happiness, question. Kiara. <laughs> you deserve thank goodness you. and happiness. You know that, right? Oh, thank you. You too. You too. Favorite red haired waifu. The next question. Oh, for you, what is the hardest, most difficult part of being a VTuber? Mm, interesting. Mm, I think a lot of things are made easier thanks to being a VTuber. Because I don't have to do my makeup and stuff for streaming. True, true, <laughs> stuff true, true. like that, you know. But what's more difficult, maybe 
I mean, generally... Mm, I feel like... What makes me wish I wasn't sometimes is... Like when we uh, perform in, in the concert or at, at conventions or do meet and greets and stuff like that. I wish I could like actually be there. Oh, yeah. And see it with my own eyes. And I, I mean, you can true, pr most likely relate to that. Yeah. I can. Not only because of your like specific reasons, but I think generally that's a VTuber thing too. Yeah. To a certain extent. Um, and it, it's, it's just like certain things that I wish I could experience like real really 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 in real life in real 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 life yeah, for real for real too. Mm. Me um, too. yeah that's so that's kind of sad because it gives a, uh, it it takes something away from how special things should be yeah you know it's mm. hard because especially i feel like lately uh, a lot of conventions have been happening, and I've seen a lot of like um, indie VTubers uh, uh, go to the convention they go in person, and go yeah. in person and meet them. And I yeah. I feel like I'm like man, they're so lucky that they could do that. I wish I could do that too. Yeah, yeah. Like okay, you you can't do it for your own reasons, and then whole mm -hmm. life. Well, we can't do it because yeah. we're corpo, and yeah. there's certain reasons I can't just go there and say hi. I am Kiara. I can't do that, so yeah, yeah. it's hard. Mm, some some rules have to be there in place and and be protected to yeah to it's have important. a system. Yeah, mm. I I yeah, understand. That's fine. I get the system. That's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I accept it. But you know, it's just a, a, a one thing that it's a little bit sad, but yeah. it's okay. I mm. totally get it. I totally get. It. I yeah. feel like I'm also kind of like a. Uh, old-fashioned type VTuber because to me, mm. like, I... This is the type of VTubing that, like, I'm used to and, like, I'm good with. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel like, uh, the indies, indie people, like, it's, it's great for them and I think that's amazing. Mm. But, like, to me, uh, as much as I wish I could, I, and I can't, but it's, like, it's... I don't know, it's, it's, like, different styles, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm. yeah. I, I can appreciate the other style too. Yeah, there's different types of VTubers. <laughs> That's for sure, yeah. And then yeah. sometimes, you know, I envy the indies sometimes. Yeah. But then other times I'm like, I'm glad I'm in Holo. You know, there's good good sides and bad sides or so, I guess. Like, you know. Yeah, you there's know, pros and cons to everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all this mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Maybe last one. Yes, last one, last one. <laughs> Oh, how do you think you've improved compared to your early Hollow Live days? Well, that might be a good question to end it on. Nice. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So people know I struggled a lot in the beginning. I had like a bad microphone. I had lots of technical issues because I was like moving, and then I had no internet for a month and had to uh, stream and live from my manager's place <laughs> for Oof. a month. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I was, um, always, like, behind on my genmates and it made me doubt myself and, um, doubt my, like, the way I do things and all that. But at the same time, I, I wanted to believe in the way I do things. Like, uh, in the beginning, I thought that, you know, my language skills are maybe the one thing that set me apart. So I wanted to use those, um, to my advantage. And then I got criticized a lot for it, for speaking Japanese a little bit, uh, every once in a while on my stream. Um, and I, I still want to do something with that, though. So that's how I eventually came up with Holo Talk. Um, yeah. And I may uh, not talk as much Japanese in my streams anymore as I did in the beginning. Um, but I still use it for stuff like Holo Talk. And I think I'm doing something good for whole life with that. And I found my place in home life, that's for sure. Like, I I, I feel things have mm, come to settle down and, and it's just more comfortable now. I don't feel so stressed about every single thing anymore. I don't have so many technical issues anymore. And I think I've settled, you know? I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to say why, how, but time has passed. It's been two and a half years more than that. And... Mm, that's like, hmm, everything's chill now. And I think, I guess, 
maybe maybe I've improved a little bit in terms of like how I mm, stream in general, but I think I've always been a good entertainer. Like I've always been good at tangenting and all that. Um, so I never doubted myself about that, but mm, yeah. You're also oh. very consistent all the time. Oh yeah, I try to be. I try mm. to be. That's like I, I feel like I always there, there's part of me that feels like I always need to catch up and and I feel you. keep on consistently mm -hmm. bringing content because I don't want to lag behind. I don't want to fall behind. Uh, so like I'm always running a marathon, you know. That's why I, I stream so much and stream so long and consistently, and, yeah, and and take very good care of my community because I cherish them, I value them, I love them, and I thank them every day for being there for me and believing in me, and giving me a chance when many others didn't. So oh, you're yeah, so and I, I definitely got more confidence. There was like. The first year was rough for me in terms of confidence. I was uh, crying a lot and struggling a lot, but now now I'm pretty uh, like stable, I would say. You're so strong, <laughs> holy moly. Thank you. There's still some stuff happening behind the scenes that mm. is really rough to deal with. Um yeah, especially oh, like one thing I think I wanted to say as a uh, uh, that was difficult as a VTuber. It's like because you're like kind of um, not really hiding, but like you're you're not showing a lot of yourself, right? Mm. And that makes people like want to try even harder to find out yep. the things that you're not saying and not showing. Mm -hmm. So they will invade your privacy even more. Yeah, and and that's like really difficult to deal with for yeah. VTubers. I think um, many issues arise from that, and uh, yeah, and that that's a struggle too. But besides that, um, I think I've 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 come to a place where I really can confidently enjoy my job and and be stable and uh, cherish every day. Yes, every day is a gift. Every day, yeah, it's so fun and I'm mm -hmm. so happy that I, I got this job Because, um, as I said, it saved me from a really difficult position situation And I don't want to give it up, ever I want to continue, I still have like many, many goals Right now I'm working on an album uh, to be Yay! released in the summer Yeah! Oh, summer album <laughs> Yeah, I want to make... I, I want to do more 3D performances Because like one problem we had... We may have gotten a boost from debuting during the pandemic mm. But on the other side, that kept us from doing a 3D debut for a long, long, long yeah. time uh, And I feel like that kind of stunted some things So um, now that we finally had our 3D debut in February I hope that we can do much, much more things in 3D uh, in, in, from now on. And, and that's what I'll be working on and trying to uh, improve and, and, yeah. And more songs Eight. like Fever Night, because 80s vibes. Ah, oh, you like Fever Night? It was so good. I love that song. Thank you. So hey, Fever Night is very unappreciated. Uh, I like it. Of mine. Mm. I like it, but then mm -hmm. again, I really like that old, like... All the retro yeah. style songs. And yeah, stuff, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I actually that, that makes sense. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Fever Night is uh, close to one million, by the way, on YouTube. If you guys want to give it a listen. Yeah, I think you guys should stream Tata it. She's super, Fever super Night. close. <laughs> Faye, you're so close to one million. Wow, please. Mm. Oh, well, I'm, yeah. I'm so happy that you came to talk to me. I don't want to take up too much more of your time because I know you're busy. And I know yeah, it's no late. Problem. I would love to talk more, but yeah, maybe we should have started earlier. Cause yeah, that, no, I'm so we should sorry. Have known. We should have known that we're gonna talk long. Don't worry. <laughs> we we could maybe we could play a game sometime soon and we could talk more. Oh yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. We can play GTA online. Oh so. my god. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that would turn out to be. I hmm. would totally do that. I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll download it and I'll install it just for you. Let's go. Yeah! Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Usually I'm the, the interviewer, so it's nice to be on the on the couch for once. Yeah, you gotta take a break sometime, you know? You work yeah. so hard. 
I mean, I don't I don't consider this as a break. I'm still working right now. <laughs> I'm working right now. <laughs> but it was fun. Thank you. You're very easy to talk to. Oh, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're easy to talk to, too. I was so nervous when I was going to talk to you because I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> what do I even say? <laughs> ah, it just flows naturally, doesn't it? It's yeah, it fun. does. I think, mm -hmm. I think it also helps because it's like you... I feel like you're also extroverted, so it's very... It, it's just easy. That's what people think. I'm just a good talker. I'm just uh, very That's good in being social extroverted. situations. <laughs> nah, I'm not extroverted. Well, you can I be just, both. I just hate. I just hate awkward situations. Mm. So I, I, I try to save it, but I, I hate. Actually, I, I, I don't like being around people. My social battery drains really fast. Ah, I, I, see. I just do it to not be rude and all that. <laughs> mm, an introverted extrovert. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> A I social see. introvert. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, mm -hmm. well, thank, thank you for coming on my show. Please, everyone, follow Kiara, please. Uh, shout out thank anything you. you would like to shout out, if you'd like. Well, uh, yeah, well, just uh, stream favorite night, I guess. Yeah, stream favorite night. Hey, hey, hey. And feel free to check me out on YouTube. I may not be on Twitch, but it's very comfy uh, in, in, my, in my streams, too. And uh, there's some clips, maybe if you wanna, you know, have some appetizer, appetizer, some starter, uh, to figure out what I'm about. Uh, it was an honor to be here. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much, Mousy. I'm honored to have you, Kiara. Thank you. Yeah. I can't wait to play with you. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. supposed to be GTA 4. Yeah, it could be anything, you know, one day. Could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, everybody. Oh. Oh, sudden ending. Yeah, bye, we're, guys. this is how we do things around here. We just end. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Just suddenly, <laughs> such a cliffhanger. Oh, what the, the hell? You have a special ending, don't you? Oh yeah, I say, and in German we say, Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, that was.